वेलकम टू पॉजिटिव एथिजम इंग्लिश चैनल इन कंटिन्यूशन फ्रॉम द लास्ट एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द आर्टिकल एथिजम ए वे ऑफ लाइफ रिटन बाय डॉक्टर जी विजयम द फेमस एथिस्ट एंड सोशल एक्टिविस्ट कैस्ट सिस्टम एंड रिलीजियन वी नीड अ न्यू आउटलुक एंड अप्रोच टू टैकल द प्रेजेंट डे प्रॉब्लम्स रिलीजियन इज लूजिंग इट्स होल्ड ऑन ह्यूमन अफेयर्स एंड इट इज बींग इरेवेलेवेंट hence religion is turning into religious fanaticism it is said that religions preach peace but now they fell prey to fundamentalist and religious fanatics in the name of propagation of religion business magnates entered the fray and they are controlling and enjoying all the resources the people are forced to believe that they achieve their salvation through prayer and obedience to god with the result the questioning spirit is not developing and they are not challenging the oppressive and outmoded beliefs and customs propagation of atheism necessitates building of alternatives to religion with the untiring efforts of social reformers the fight against caste and untouchability has begun in the modern period every social reformer is a rebel in his own period he or she challenged old and heinous customs and tried to make the world a better place to live in the caste bonds are loosened in the modern india but casteism is increasing casteism is eating the vitals of the nation caste consciousness is growing with good intentions the caste based reservations for the backward were introduced in the indian constitution but of a century of experience has shown that caste based reservations led to the development of vested interests to promote casteism and also thwarting the march towards reducing the caste consciousness Gora always made it a principle to organize the interdining intercaste marriages and other programs for social equality in the glaring sun of openness. He was firm on his principles and was uncompromising in his opposition to the practice of untouchability and caste system, but he was polite all the time. He set the example before others. Hundreds of intercaste, casteless and interreligious marriages have been celebrated in Andhra Pradesh under the influence of atheist center. The atheist center made special efforts to educate them about the necessity of castelessness. It encouraged mixed housing without reference to caste and religion. It is very difficult to promote marriages between two sects among the so-called untouchables. However, atheist center could perform even such marriages. at the center encourage registration of marriages under special marriage act eradication of untouchability is intricately interconnected with the issue of human rights human dignity economic betterment and social justice hence castelessness is the only answer intercaste marriages casteless marriages and interreligious marriages pave the way for national integration Separation of politics from religion is no longer a mere cherished idea but of a great practical necessity. The fusion of political and religion is detrimental to human progress. Good society. Be bold and be human. It is the only solution. As Gora stated that theism only created some good individuals but not a good society. The march towards a post-religious society is a must. the pace will be accelerated when a movement is adopted it is the common cause that unites the people the difference between theism and atheism is the difference between faith and truth religious understanding stops with faith science proceeds to truth through verification religion turns into superstition when it clings to falsehoods with fanatical faith faith closes the mind science opens it freedom is the opposite of the slave mind and so it is the essence of atheism in positive terms atheism represents the feeling of freedom and truthfulness gora reiterated that the rise of freedom does not stop with fighting faith in the existence of god it fights every curb on the expression of freedom and truthfulness in the modern age it fights political dictatorship economic capitalism social traditionalism philosophical determinism and forms of centralization which belittle the individuals the aim of religious social work is peace and tranquility after death they talk about post life situations we want peace on earth in this life and not in the imaginary after life what we need today is secular social work in this age of mass communication it is the example that inspires others 
Let us strive to do away with the stronghold of religion. When religious influence is lessened, the people of Asia, in particular South Asia, harness human power and human energies for creative and constructive purposes. And from here, we'll continue in the next episode. Thank you. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel Positive Atheism and activate the bell icon.